I, I, I don't want to make a big issue about this because it it's in grand scheme of things, no no one gives a shit, but um it is really quite incredible that like our president uh has no no idea how to think critically about anything. And like it's and, and true done randomly. True, it is a conservative uh satire site. However, like it it's not real news. And our president is just so brain dead that he can't figure out that it's not real. Like, guys, people there are people out there who think that this man is playing four-dimensional chess. And he talks like a five-year-old, and he, uh, like, seems like he has a brain injury when he's, like, trying to, uh, get his point across. And he has no ability to discern fact from fiction, and he will just re retweet things that agree with him regardless of what the actual content is or where it came from. It, it's, it's just shocking at every turn that people can't listen to this man. Like, if if a man who talked like Donald Trump showed up at your door and, like, tried to talk with you, you would think that he's the dumbest motherfucker you've ever met in your life. Uh, but it's the fact that he has built up this persona of, of being very rich and being very powerful that uh, Republicans just... Uh, and, and conservatives at large just gravitate towards, and they're willing to forgive him anything. Like, oh yeah, that like he he tweeted that as a joke, uh, or oh yeah, he's playing four dimensional chess. He only looks like a big dumb motherfucker. Like <laughs> he's he just he he is a big dumb motherfucker, guys. Like he's he's not intelligent at all. He's one of the dumbest presidents we've ever had. Uh, this is this is a guy who, in uh, serious top tier level uh, like briefings on climate change, um, has seriously asked whether we can drop a nuclear weapon inside of a hurricane to destroy it. Like this this guy is literally just one of the dumbest people. Like. He watches asylum uh like movies that are knockoffs of like major blockbusters and is like, oh yeah, that that science, it seems real. Like he see, Riot Girl Kelly, I don't think he can have that level of support without his supporters being honest. I think that they genuinely think that he's very smart. That they genuinely think that he is some kind of um like savant they think that he is some sort of hero who is secretly fighting from the shadows um but the reality is he's just a dipshit and he's always been a dipshit he has been one of the least successful businessmen of all time to the point where like several years ago if he hadn't been bailed out by one of the big wigs at cnn uh who gave him a job on The Apprentice, he would have gone shit broke. Like, he is just really dumb. Like, you can- and you can look at any of his failed business ventures, like Trump Steaks. He- he invested in a steak company? For some reason? And of course it bombed, because he's a dumbass. And or, or, or you can look at all of the myriad of other things that he has tried and absolutely failed on. All of his business properties right now, with the exceptions of the ones that he is personally supporting with U.S. taxpayer dollars, uh, like uh, Mar-a-Lago, uh, are, all, are all failures. Uh, they're all leaking money, which is why he had to take on personal loans which, by the way, he admitted to in the town hall yesterday. Um, he admitted to uh, uh, in the town hall that he owes around $400 million to people that he would not specify. Um, and he tried to spin it as they wanted to lend him money. No, 
every every major bank in the United States literally will not lend this guy money because he is such a failure at business that they know that they won't get that money back. So he had to go abroad to get loans. Um, and not only that, the loans that he got abroad, they weren't business loans. They weren't loans that went into his business that he can easily dodge. They're personal loans. So he personally owes almost half a billion dollars. Like, how big of a fuck up do you have to be at business to not be able to take out business loans and only be able to take out personal loans and find yourself half a billion dollars in debt? Uh, like, guys, he's not a genius. He's just a dumbass who inherited a lot of money and pissed it all away over the course of his life and managed through, uh, like, sheer luck to be able to trade his reputation as a rich, successful person that he inherited from his father um, and trade that into a the, the public perception of him being rich and famous and powerful. Um, like, that's the entire shtick of The Apprentice. That's the entire shtick of uh, his, um, like, uh, The Art of the Deal book, which he didn't even write. It's the entire shtick of everything he has ever done right now that is profitable. The only profitable thing about him is his name, and it's because he prints it on large buildings like a five-year-old would if a five-year-old got uh, obscenely wealthy. Like, that is... That is the extent of his uh, business savviness. Um, like, this is a guy who would hire contractors and then just not pay them. Rich people don't not pay their contractors, guys. Rich people pay everyone because money becomes like nothing to them if they actually have money. You don't just screw over the people who work for you um, unless you don't have the money, which Donald Trump doesn't. Uh, it's, it's really quite incredible all the time when you see conservatives uh, sucking his dick for being so successful and so good at business, when at every single turn, if you look into his story, he's just been a colossal piece of shit who is also bad at business and uh, increasingly poor. His own daughter once described him after his 13th bankruptcy as being uh, the poorest rich man she'd ever uh, encountered. Um, I might be remembering that quote wrong, but uh, even his own daughter was aware that he was uh, tens of millions of dollars in debt at the time. And now he is even more in debt, and he can't dodge it by pawning it off on one of his subsidiary companies and then having that go bankrupt. Like, real rich men like Jeff Bezos don't have to scam people out of college money, guys. Which, by the way, Donald Trump scammed people out of college money. Um... Like, yeah, you might describe the people who fell for his scams as suckers or losers if you're a fan of President Trump, but just be aware that you are just as much a sucker and a loser for believing in Trump as every other person who fell for his shit over the last 40 years, okay? It's, it's really just enraging. And every time he opens his mouth on a stage right now, he just reveals his entire fucking ass uh, to the entire world. And everyone outside of the Republican bubble, outside of this fascist bubble that he has cultivated for himself, um, a, a bubble where he only cares about maintaining power at any cost and is willing to lie, is willing to use the resources of the government to, um, like... Sa sabotage things that have never even been considered uh, partisan issues, like the census. He's willing to go out of his way and try and do all of these things specifically just to consolidate the power that he currently wields so that it can't be easily taken away from him. Um, it is at every turn, uh, and should it should be taken at every turn to be a horrifying fact of his presidency. Um, but the fact is that so many people have become suckers, have become like bought into his fascist rhetoric that they look at what he's doing and they get their information 
uh, from people who are paid by billion like billionaires to suck his dick on television, whether or not they are secretly Democrats or or true believers, they still do it on national television and spread this misinformation, misinformation about masks, misinformation about um, Trump's finances, misinformation about history, misinformation about his policy positions. Like Donald Trump last night took credit like or, or has been routinely taking credit over the last several days, uh, provably for the um, the 2014 Veterans Choice Bill that Obama passed. Like he hasn't he hasn't been honest with you. And if you think he has, you're just as much a sucker as all the other contractors who worked at him on the off chance that they might pay that he might pay them. Um, like, guys, he he takes credit for things that Obama did. Like, part of part of his arguments about um, like hit the Republican health care plan to replace Obamacare right now uh, have been that he and his administration run the remnants of Obamacare better than uh, the Obama administration ran the system. Like, it, he, he's trying to take credit for that being the new healthcare plan as if he passed that, as if it's something new. But it's the same plan that Obama passed. It's not rocket science, guys. It's literally just a con artist slapping a label over, like, a main brand, uh, like, jar of sauce and telling you that it's, uh, like, it's actually, like, uh, going to improve your brain function and cure your, your incurable cancer, okay? Like, he's a con man. He has never been good at business. His dad had to bail him out for millions of dollars because he was so bad at business. Like, it's, it's just a grift, and you're falling for it, and it's really sad and pathetic to all of us who are outside of that fascist bubble, um, and it's even more doubly sad for the people who live outside the bubble of the United States. Literally everyone in Canada can see what's happening in the U.S., everyone in Europe can see what's happening in the U.S., Fucking, like, even people in, like, third world countries, like, are able to grasp the geopolitical situation the U.S. has put itself in over the last four years and, and know that America is real fucked up and they feel bad for us. Like, you realize, like, there are, there are some countries in Africa, like, poor, poor as shit countries when compared to the United States, who literally send us foreign aid for uh, states in the South, uh, because the living conditions and the food conditions are so bad. Even under Trump, uh, supposedly the hero of those, those red states. Um, it's like, and, and like, you don't, if you don't believe me, like, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me bring up an article here. Um, Is this? I have it bookmarked.
I'm finding articles about other countries sending aid, but it's all so overtaken by coronavirus, which is not what I was looking for. Um, like Russia sending medical supplies to the U.S. Um, or Egypt sending uh, supplies to the U.S. Um, But basically, Donald Trump is a giant fraud and shouldn't be trusted by anybody um, except the absolute uh, buffoons of society. Um, which, uh, I, I don't know, the behavior of his supporters seems to bear out. <sighs> so... Here he goes... <laughs> Hello, OMG Taylor Swift. I did I did I summon you by saying that uh, Trump supporters are buffoons? I I mean that in the most loving way possible. Okay. I just want you to change your mind. I just want you to change your mind and help us save uh, the United States. My TDS, I don't know what that means. Is is my my sound bad? Is that is that what you mean? Well, Jose of Scranton, you you made it out. You made it out of the bubble. None of this applies to you, okay? You were able to escape, and for that I, I commend you, okay? You you have changed your mind, you were you were able to pull your brain into a place where you were able to ab ab like absorb actual, like, real facts about the world, and, uh, like, perceive things at least, uh, much more accurately. Um, so, uh, good, good on you, friend. Um... Oh, Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, no, my Trump derangement syndrome isn't out of control tonight. He's a fascist trying to claim uh, control over uh, the executive branch of the United States. I feel like that that warrants some uh, some mentioning. And by the way, every single thing that I have said about Trump tonight is 100% true. You can look it up. It is backed up by numerous well-respected organizations, um, both in the news and otherwise. Uh, so I, I stand by literally everything I said, except maybe a few of the mean things that I said about Trump supporters. Those might th th that might have gone a little bit too far. Um, please join me in the revolution, comrades. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's the only that those are the only things that I'm going to. Uh, go back on. Because honestly, at the end of the day, uh, people who are Trump supporters are voting literally against my human rights or valuing my human rights less than uh, the economic benefits that they may or may not reap underneath, uh, under the regime of uh, one of the worst businessmen to ever live. Uh, so, <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I don't respect that position very much. I, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but uh, Biden gets cupcake questions. Trump gets grilled by some second-rate talk show host. Well, the fact that he managed to get grilled by a second-rate talk show host who uh, was just asking him extremely simple and easy-to-answer questions, and he would just sputter for, like, five minutes uh, and, like, just attack her character repeatedly... Um, instead of just answering the goddamn questions like uh, Biden was able to do. Um, I, I feel like that should tell you something. Like, if you, Taylor Swift, if you were talking with someone and you asked them a very simple question and they proceeded to, uh, like, glare at you and, like, sputter for five minutes and not answer the question and instead answer a completely different question that you didn't ask, 
and uh, then blamed you for being uh, like a liar or whatever to your face. I don't think you would be doing, I, I, I don't think you would trust a person like that. And yet, for some reason, you're able to give uh, Trump a pass for not answering any of the questions he was asked. Um, what? Taylor Swift, did you watch his town hall? Are you, what the fuck are you talking about? Biden went into like great detail about tax codes and tax plans, and yeah, she asked him to condemn white supremacy. That's something... Taylor Swift, it doesn't matter if he's done it a million times. If somebody asked me a million times if I hated white supremacists, I should be able to say yes every single time with pride. Well, see, the problem, Taylor Swift, is that Biden has never has never endorsed white supremacy. Biden has never endorsed uh, groups that say white power. Uh, unlike our president, who has done both those things and more, okay? Like, it's not rocket science. Trump, Trump literally refused to house black people in his apartment complexes. So, like... Yeah, maybe maybe the question about whether or not he supports white supremacy has a little bit more valid like validity uh, when it's uh, asked to him, and then he gets real upset and like sputters and angrily talks for like five minutes instead of just very simply and dignifiedly answering the question, which he could easily do. He just chooses not to because he's an idiot fascist and a child. Yeah, all literally all he has to say is, yeah, yes, I condemn white supremacy in the strongest possible terms. It's not rocket science. That question should have literally taken three seconds, and instead he got mad and talked about it for five minutes and talked about how unfair the media has been to him. Despite the fact in the 2016 election, he got billions of dollars in free press coverage. Billions of dollars in free coverage. So, like, the idea that he, the media hasn't been exceedingly fair in the extreme to Donald Trump is laughable by any conceivable metric. Why don't they, con why don't they ask Biden to condemn Antifa? Taylor Swift, do you, do you condemn people who fight against fascism? Do you, do you condemn people who fight against neo-Nazis? Well, Taylor Swift, Antifa literal me literally means anti-fascists. So are you against anti-fascists? Are you, are you against Nazis? Antifa isn't a terrorist organization. It's not an organization at all. Like, come on, dude. It's people who don't like Nazis and people who are white supremacists. It's really, it's not rocket science. Antifa literally just means anti-fascists. These are people who show up, typically, when white supremacists march through your town. I would, I, my dude, my dude, I am an Antifa. <laughs> I'm a member of Antifa, whatever that means, because I'm an anti-fascist. Like, uh, no, they won't. I live in my house. It's fine. Like, my my dude, uh, Antifa don't typically burn down houses. What they typically do is show up when Nazis are coming to your town to let them know that Nazis aren't welcome in the United States of America. So, like, it, I, it, like, if you look at the history of Antifa, uh, that's what they do. It, it's really not rocket science. You can actually look up the history of Antifa, and you can look up how much damage they've done, and you know how much dam- like, the, the grand total of damage that they have done, Taylor Swift, in the United States? If you add up all of the property damage, it's still less money than New York City paid out for- to victims of police violence in settlements in court. Um, they- by the way, uh, just for the record, uh, New York City 
paid out over a, a quarter of a billion dollars uh, to victims of police violence um, in in their in in just in that one city, and the total da damage done by Antifa across the entire country, even if you attribute all of the damage done during the BLM protests only to Antifa, is a very tiny fraction of that. Um, so, like... 